Hey everyone, it's Opie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another game of World of Warships Legends. I was messing around on the game and got a bunch of those IGN, IJN, sorry, promo crate thingies and ended up getting the Gokase out of one of them, which is pretty cool. So I thought I would take it out for a test spin and we'd run a game in it to see what happens and what the ship is like. So again, for today's video, I am playing on Mobile Legends. I will only be able to do that for the time being as I can't currently play on Xbox. So starting off, we are in the Sea of Fortune map, which is generally a pretty good map for cruisers, I find. There's a lot of island coverage. One thing I will say about this cruiser is I don't really tend to set a lot of fires with it. Well, I haven't for the few games that I've played in it so far. This is my first game in the Gokase, the Go case. I don't know how you pronounce the ship, but this is my first game. By the way. But what I was trying to say is this ship doesn't tend to start a lot of fires not as much as I'm used to. It does hit pretty hard even with HE, high explosive, being loaded. It just, it's not setting as much fires as I would hope, what I'm used to, what I usually like. I actually just noticed looking up now that there are no destroyers in this game, which is interesting and probably explains why this game does go fairly well for me. I thought this cruiser was gonna be a lot like the Aoba, where the turret traverse was just gonna be absolutely terrible, and the arch of the shells was going to be pretty terrible as well, but it turns out that's actually not the case. The turret traverse speed is a little slower, like, you know, what you would expect for a Japanese cruiser, but the arch of the shells are actually pretty high, and this one is actually really good for shooting over islands, which I do, do really enjoy. And... The church reverse speed, I have no complaints about really because it's not even that bad. Honestly, the New Orleans, or the New Orleans, sorry, seems to be a lot worse than this one, oddly enough. So for now, I have no real complaints about this ship. It does go pretty fast as well, which I do like. And the torpedoes have a pretty decent range especially for tier 5. Once again, here is auto-aim being broken. I don't even remember if I end up hitting anything here. Probably not. Like I said, auto-aim is always broken. And there are a lot of ships out right now. Kind of panicking a little bit, but... It doesn't seem like anybody's really shooting at me, and I have gone undetected now, so we are safe for now. I think we do end up hitting this Valiki here at some point anyway. I'm not sure why that is, but auto-aim is absolutely terrible. I never used to enjoy using it. I only really use it on mobile because it seems to be a lot easier, but it's always all over the place, so there's no real point in using it. I seem to miss a lot more shots than if I just aim it myself. But we did hit the Valiki pretty good, which is what I was talking about. These guns do hit direct front. decently hard. I have no complaints about that. 
I'm also really liking the concealment on this cruiser as well. And I don't know if you just caught that, but I did hit the New York pretty hard as well. And I am only using HE, but notice how I have not started or set a fire yet, which is kind of what I was talking about. It doesn't seem to set a lot of fires. I haven't really gotten the chance to try out armor piercing too much with this ship. But I'll probably be exploring more of that because it seems like it is more of a hard hitting cruiser more so than a fire spammer. I'm just now going to try and sail into sea and capture that area. Currently we're two for three and we are just leading with points. So I want to try and secure us a little bit more. Also, whenever I'm in a cruiser, I just feel like it is my duty to capture all of the bases all of the time. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I do have to watch out though, because sometimes I'll sail right into a cap and get a little too confident. Like just now I've made myself spotted. I probably should have waited till I actually had the area captured. And I'll kind of put myself in trouble a little bit. Here we have the Masuri, the Masuri, Masuri. I don't know how to pronounce these ships. I'm sorry, you guys already know how I am with the names. And uh, that's me once again trying to get used to the Mobile Legend control, the whole binocular type thing. I get confused. I get a little bit confused. I did end up assisting in the cap. I was hoping for a solo cap, but it's okay if a teammate's gonna sail in and help me capture the base. It's teamwork, I'll take it. I am going to have the opportunity to actually test out the torpedoes here in a second. I know we've barely crested 10,000 damage here. Not really high damage, but we're getting into it. Got to be careful. Fun fact about the Leander, actually. When I first downloaded the game on Xbox, I'm not sure how long ago that was. But I was actually gifted the Leander. It was like one of my first ships when I was still in tier two for I think the French line or something, but I sold it. But yeah, I thought, I don't know. Is that something they give everybody? Maybe I just got it for some unknown reason. We set off our torps here. We did end up setting a fire and I am still capturing the base hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves a solo cap this time and i think my torps look really good and one of them is going to hit the ismail here and yeah we actually got the kill on that one as well and i am going to end up getting the solo cap one thing I am not liking that I have to figure out is why my screen is cut off here. Why it looks like my screen is cut off and you guys can't see fully what I'm getting and the amount of damage. Here I end up choking a little bit. I was a little bit confused with the controls was struggling on getting out of my torpedoes, which I could have probably hit him with the torpedoes, or at least I thought I could have, but they weren't fully loaded yet. I thought they would have been loaded up again by now, but I guess the torpedoes are kind of slow to load. 
Anyway, it was a missed opportunity and no sense in getting upset over it. Let's just move on. I'm going to try and go cap A and also try and catch these cruisers and see if we can't get them out of the game and win the game. This part of the game is always the worst. Just kind of sailing around aimlessly, or that's what it feels like at least. Waiting for cruisers to just reveal themselves. Maybe this is just a distant fever dream that I've had, but does anyone else remember? And this is so out of topic too. But does anyone else remember somebody on Spartan stream once, his live stream, that was offering to donate $10 for every, like, or a dollar for every thousand damage that Spartan got? Where is that person? Because just saying, I've linked to my PayPal in the description. I don't know, like I have a, a strange odd deep memory of that. That was that was great. That that was a great time. Let me know if you remember that down in the comments below. We are about to get into the A cap here. I am still waiting on this Leander to show its face. I'm pretty sure this other cruiser is like on the verge of getting taken out by my other teammate here. If I am not mistaken, but we only have three minutes left of the game anyway. Things are going great. Our victory is in sight. Here is the Leander. I'm really hoping I don't choke this. Spoiler alert. I kind of do, but not in a tragic way. Because it doesn't, like, cost us the game anything. Or anything, I mean. And I have floated into A. But I should have been a little bit more careful with my angling here. Because the Leander does have very hard-hitting guns. As well, kind of the problem where oh, look at that 5800, and that's off high explosive. That is actually a lot, like, that is crazy if you think about it. So, where I end up messing up here though is I end up actually a getting out of the A cap. B, not switching to AP. And see, I am beaching into an island, actually, at some point. I'm not even paying attention to where I'm going. It ends up messing me up. My torpedoes aren't even reloaded yet. Slower to reload torps, or maybe it's normal for cruisers. It could very well be, and I'm just not as used to torping with cruisers because I am used to the American line right now. But yes, I end up dying here, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to get avenged anyway. Any second now, L literally any, there, there we go. We won the game, I only got 40, thousand damage but that doesn't matter because a look at how much we did okay like I, I did a lot for the team here and look at that top of the leaderboard still even though we didn't do a lot of damage and I ended up dying right before the end of the game it was still a pretty good game so if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more content like this Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.